Cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad could be coming to the nation's capital. Pamela Geller, who organized a profit drawing contest in Garland, Texas, you'll remember what happened there. She wants the winning cartoon put on buses and subway stations in Washington, D.C. and elsewhere. Now, the reason we remember the contest is to remember what happened. There was an attack by these would-be jihadists, these sympathizers. Now, they got taken out. But the danger was real and present. You saw how horrible it could be. Thank God you were okay. Nobody got hurt except the bad guys in that situation. Now to carry this forward and take the cartoon that you know is found offensive, especially by extremist types, and make it more public, why is this a good thing to do? Well, the media and the political and academic elites are censoring this cartoon. And uh, we think the American people should see that you are self-enforcing the Sharia. Under the Sharia, you cannot depict uh, Muhammad. You are adhering to Islamic law. It's not really an the explicit media part is of Sharia enormously law. enormously offensive. Since when are you sensitive to being offensive? The things you say about me are hateful and bigoted. The what things have I you said, said about you that is thing, hateful and bigoted? The things that the media says about the, ra the, 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 the calling the Tea Party racist is offensive. Since when do you care about being offensive? There's a you big difference to between the criticizing something and saying something that you know is ultimately offensive. You want to put the cartoon up, you say, I'm doing this because I should be able to be what I want to be to be free. However, you don't extend that to Islam, not about the cartoons. You were very active in stopping them from having a place of worship by ground zero. Right. But a 15-story mega mosque in a building that was destroyed in the 9-11 attacks by the landing gear is deeply humiliating and deeply offensive. They had been praying there since November 2009. I never said anything. They had been praying in that very spot, and I'd written about it in November 2009. We started protesting when they said they were going to build a mosque, Cordoba, so which is exemplar of Islamic conquest, so where Christians and Jews were forced to live as dhimmis, the Cordoba era, the era of the caliphate in Islamic Spain. But that's so not how it was explained by the group who wanted it. They said they wanted to do it to show tolerance and acceptance of all people there by the people who were being blamed in mass for what happened on 9-11. You don't see that as a double standard? That no, I do not. You, you I would don't not like invoke, it because that's I would offensive, not, I would but not, you will do what they find offensive. It was a middle finger to the American people. Where, where are you going to draw the line? You're saying no cartoons. That, to me, is so much more uh, destructive to a free society than alcohol. Or, I mean, it's free speech. Understood. It's a cartoon, Chris. Snap out of it.